Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about loops and go over a quick example to get you started using them. So loops allow you to continuously execute the same thing over and over again, sort of like a routine. So in my deals app example, uh, let's say that I have some deals that I want to delete from my app, but I don't want to have to delete them one by one. I want to do sort of a bulk delete. Uh, this is how I can use, uh, this is a good time I can use loops. So if I go into my database table and into my deals table, you can see I added a few extra deals here. So this small deal, special deal, and spooky deal because it's almost Halloween. So let's say that I want to delete maybe all three of these at the same time. Once again, I'm going to use loops. So I'm going to go into my API page and into this demo API group that I have so I don't mess anything up, uh, just so I can show you guys. And I created this uh, delete deals uh, API endpoint here. And I just started it from scratch. And I did that on the top right here where it says add API. But I'm going to go and click into this where it says deals loops. So because I started from scratch, we'll see this workflow or the anatomy of this endpoint is all empty. So for starters, let me add an input. So I'm going to go ahead and click this blue plus button. And then I'm going to do a table reference to my deals table. And what this does, this input is saying the ID in my deals database table. So that record or those rows in my deals table, that's going to be the input. And now I'm going to click into this input. And we have this uh, edit input window. And right where it says structure, instead of single, I'm going to select a list. And this will allow me to put uh, multiple deals ID or multiple deals records in my input. I'm going to hit save. And when we do that, we see these brackets uh, populate right there in the input. So next, let's go ahead and build this loop. So I'm going to go into my function stack, hit that blue plus button, go to data manipulation, and go to loops. And we can see there's four different options. So I'm going to use a for loop to iterate over an, an array. There's also a loop break to get out of a loop, a uh, loop continue to go to the next iteration of a loop, and then loop to remove the current entry uh, from a loop. So I'm going to go to for loop, and this window will open up, and it asks me to select the items to loop through. So you see it says list here. So we're going to select this input right here because that's going to be the list we're looping through, multiple deals records, right? So I can just click that drop down, click on that input, and now we need to define functions, so what we're actually doing, and remember I'm deleting records, this is a bulk delete, so I'm going to hit this blue plus button, go into database request, and then hit delete record from my deals table. And now I'll click into this and make sure that my inputs are mapped. So in my field value, I'm going to want uh, the variable that's created now uh, once we're making this loop, and that's just auto-populated at item underscore one. So I'll go ahead and save that. Okay, now this is ready to use. So I can go ahead and run and debug this. And because I selected a list structure, I can go ahead and write multiple deal IDs in here to delete them all at one time. So let's delete those ones I just created, three, five, and six. So when I go ahead and run this, we'll see it was a success. Everything ran successfully. I didn't have anything in my response, so I don't get anything back. But if I go to my database table and back into my deals uh, table, we can see that uh, those records were actually deleted. And I actually deleted three, five, six instead of four, five, six. But you can see everything ran successfully. So we just have uh, one, two, and four left. So that's it for loops. Uh, definitely a very useful and powerful tool if you want to uh, continuously execute the same thing over and over again instead of maybe... Uh, calling a single function every time, uh, loops will really come in handy and, and serve you in uh, building your application that way.